out ice cream uh, at the stadium. Not quite sure that it was ice cream weather, but you know, the Hens lineup, they were handing out runs to celebrate 419 day early and often. Already 2 0 in the second. Jacob Robson rips a pitch into the gap in left center. Two more runs come in to score as Robson is on with a triple. He'd come home later in the inning, 5 0 Toledo after two. Threatening again in the fourth, Ryan Kreidler gets the job done. A shallow infield chopper brings Derek Hill in, now 7 0 Hens. And Kreidler's part of the most impressive play of the night. Top five grounder up the middle. Zach Short makes the diving stab, flips to Kreidler for the toss to first. 4-6-3 put out. Take another look as the Hens do it all. 11-0 the final. Just three hits allowed between five pitchers. Brad Wozniki and Jim Weber break it down. Thanks. Back out here at Fifth Third Field and a great start to a brand new series. The Mud Hens tonight had the pitching, the defense, and plenty of offense with a season high 11 runs. 11 runs, 13 hits. I don't know if I expected this against a team as good as St. Paul, but it was the Mud Hens right from the start. Although they started the game, uh, the Saints with a double, but that was it. I mean, they only had three hits in the game, and that's very, uh, very unusual for them. The pitching was great tonight, lots of hitting, great defense. It was the perfect storm. Speaking of that defense, you had that 4-6-3 put out that was started by Zach Short over to Ryan Kreidler, over to Josh Lester. That's a play we're going to be talking about throughout the season. Yeah, that's already a Webley for our season-ending awards. Yeah, mark it down. It's there. And now keep it going if you can for the Mud Hens. This is only one game. The Hens, they can get things going here. They're facing the top team right now in the International League. Get the offense going early again. I think that was big when it came to the starting pitching and the pitching the rest of the night. Yeah, timely hitting. There weren't any home runs, but plenty of uh, doubles. Uh, Robson had a two-run triple. Everybody uh, contributed, right? Everybody had at least a hit. So it's just one of those games that you love to see. It's too bad we can't see them every night, but that's baseball. It was a big night for the Mud Hens, one that Curtis Terry did not want to stick around with for the St. Paul Saints. The Mud Hens begin this new series with an 11-0 victory.